Hi friends, in Planet Earth Dating, it's Saturday, October 13th, 2018. In both the Lynn Life and the Jamie Body Mind, the authorized souls remain only child souls from the deeper, denser dimensions, and all other souls from all other dimensions, as long as the souls are already living by the search for truth rules given to the search for truth community by wiser minds above all of us and those rules include participating in the work and right now we're really attempting once more to face forward and when we face forward in this dimension on this planet what's directly in front of us is biosphere level disaster primarily because of human overpopulation and we can talk about lots of other causes but if we look back at when the destruction amped up it amped up when we passed two billion and now we're at 7.5 billion and it's it's just a crazy mess and possibly somebody's asking why do why do we think that is and, and we know that possibly some of it is simply overpopulation, that the astrals get so thick That's with true. the detritus of 7.5 billion humans that there's a cutoff, interdimensional cutoff, and we can no longer access truly divine presences. And that's that's problematic. Why do you ask? Now we see that really high presence who's been speaking for some days now about job number one being to assign a new soul to ground zero planet Earth to get a peg into the job hole of planetary consciousness for ground zero planet Earth and for this dimension planet combination possibly nothing matters more. Other things might matter equally, but nothing matters more than getting a new soul assigned to the job and working on the on the job, working in the job. That's true. Somebody is wanting us to say what we know with regard to the experiments that have been run so far, and we know that in the past couple of days their job has been offered to Jeff Bezos, Mark Zuckerberg, and Pope Francis. That's true. And I think we're supposed to say one by one how it went and what happened so that wiser minds above can actually get a really clear reporting because the astrals are really thick and it's actually hard for them to tell what's actually going on. They can get a feel for it and over time they do figure it out. That's true. And don't you worry, it's going to come back to bite us, the bad things we're doing. Oh, don't oh, you worry. But there might be a little bit of a delay. So it's helpful if somebody can give an accurate objective report of the results of various experiments and that is the job of these host lives here that is our job is to just do whatever it is wiser minds above say to do and report back what the outcomes were all right jeff bezos somebody's asking about jeff bezos Uh, jeff bezos was willing to try on the the kind of like the suit of the job it's like fitting a Jeff Bezos peg into the hole of the job of planetary consciousness. That's and true. The Jeff Bezos peg was willing to start to settle into that position and got into there with some uh, work. He got settled in and was settling in and now then the instruction came in to begin to tune to nothing matters more then survival of the truth right up through that planetary consciousness spire which we have access to because we would be willing to do the job although we're completely not a match because we don't have resources. That's true. So somebody uh, 
who had this level of willingness and had Jeff Bezos's pot of money would be an ideal candidate. But the pot of money matters more than we might think it does. That's so true. to work with Jeff Bezos and see if we can get him to be calm, willing to do what the situation actually calls for, which is to reduce human population from 7.5 billion to 2 billion uh, and do lots of other things to uh, immediately stop the pollution, immediately switch to clean fuels, do it right now, now means now. Immediately stop the planetary destruction, now means now. That's true. And when we were supposed to continue, they're tapping and somebody's getting impatient. When we began to tune to Nothing Matters More Than Survival of the Truth, Jeff jumped out like he was being scalded or burned, and so we realized we were maybe skipping some steps. That's true. So we uh, uh, jiggled him back to the job and jiggled him back into place and then started asking, does anything matter more than survival of the truth? And he was not scalded by the question, but he was also not willing to do the job. That's true. So the instructions from Wiser Minds Above were to annul the job offer and leave it on good terms. Uh, thank you for playing. Uh, no hard feelings on either side. Come back later if you decide that you want to do the job. That's true. And he uh, left. And then the assignment was try Mark Zuckerberg. That's right. And and poor Mark. Uh, and we, we have to not be judgmental because Mark is still a young man. He's 33. And it scared him. And he ran away. And he didn't want any part of that. That's true. But it prob I don't know. And somebody's asking why he did that. I think it just felt like an impossibly big job. And it, it, what he said was, you've got the wrong guy, lady. That's true. I'm not... I'm not your guy. That's what he said. You got the wrong guy, lady. He said, who did he think he was talking to? Would you please take it up with him? I don't know. I don't know. What we are able to report is that he said, no, he's not willing. And he was very much not willing. He wouldn't even, he didn't want his peg to go into that job hole. He That's didn't want true. That he said, No, you've got the wrong guy. He ran away. That's a no. That's what no That's looks no. like. He's not willing. That's, That's a no. And Jeff Bezos also, let, let's to make sure we're saying this clearly. That's a no. Jeff Bezos said no. Do you copy? Jeff Bezos said no. Do you read me? Jeff Bezos said no. Do you understand? Do you understand? I see some sad nods. I feel sad nods. Let's try again. Mark Zuckerberg said no. no. Do, you Do you understand? understand? I feel like faster they're saying yes, they understand. Yeah, I feel that but feeling. they're now all hope is rising for Pope Francis. We we That's also true. ran that experiment. We ran that experiment this morning. That's true. And uh he slid into the job without resistance and was a pleasure to work with uh, until we got to the part of the job being reducing human population, That's which means true. he would then need to change the rulings of the Catholic Church to not only allow but encourage uh, contraception, That's abortion, true. and death with dignity so that when people wish to die that instead of being labeled mentally ill That's true. they're honored for their willingness to free up a seat on the bus That's true. and to, they're allowed to leave with with not only dignity but applause like thank you thank you for being willing to leave That's true. and we need to really reevaluate our crazy thinking about people who wish to leave and how is That's suicide true. a bad thing let them they're willing to go we have 5.5 billion too many people and somebody's saying you've got 7 billion too many That's people what someone just said. Uh, half a billion is actually the correct number and that may be, that could be but true. the point is we've got way too many people That's true whether it's 5.5 billion too many or 7 billion too many, we don't think that's the point. We think that we need to allow death with dignity. That's true. And for all who are willing to go to say, 
thank you so much and really honor them and applaud them and then help them out the door without pain or That's harassment. True. Gracefully. Gracefully in dignity, death with dignity. And of course, no unwanted babies. If, if some pregnant woman wants an abortion, say thank you for being <laughs> willing to not make another baby. No more babies. That's we need true. a 20-year hiatus on new human babies. No more human babies. That's true. At least a 20-year hiatus. And then maybe, maybe it will start to percolate through human minds that it isn't cool to create more humans That's when we true. have too many humans already. And what's needed is to set examples of not creating more humans. That's true that we have figured out what causes this and we are beginning to take corrective action. So when we got to that point of uh, what we need is to reduce population, Pope Francis uh, didn't want to do it. And no, that's he, true. he said no and he just kind of wandered away. Yeah, that's true. And that's what no looks like. That's another way that presences have of saying no. And so he, he said no. Pope Francis said, said no, no, he doesn't want the job. Do you understand? I know that you do. That's I know true. that you do, and I, I, I don't hear you answering. I don't hear them answering. But just because you aren't answering doesn't mean you don't understand, because I can feel the vibration going up into your brain, and what it feels like is wanting to not think about that. Let's retire. That's true. Does anybody up there, show of hands, does anybody up there understand Pope Francis said no? That's a yes. <gasps> That's a yes. Somebody understands Pope Francis said no. <laughs> we love it that we got that on film because these things happen all the all time. All the time. And it's just wonderful. <laughs> That's true. That's, that's a yes. That's so a yes. Somebody understands Pope Francis said no. And do you understand that Mark Zuckerberg also said no? Yes. And do you understand that they all said no? Yes. And that those, do you understand that those were the three best candidates, the ones most likely to be willing to do the actual job of the candidates on Ground Zero Planet Earth, this dimension, this planet, this species because humans are the ones creating the destruction and that's therefore true. the solution has to come from humanity that's true if the uh, and somebody's asking why because the other species have already tried to kill us to hate us everybody oh yeah, everybody true. hates us really a lot with good reason with good reason we've earned we've earned that disgust fair and square and they're unable to stop us so we must stop ourselves we must have some self-discipline that's true because there is a limit to the container and we are at it and we're destroying the container and the destruction is happening now. There are hurricanes that are operating in the north and Greenland is showing up on the hurricane map and we haven't been aware of that in the past. No, that's true. And this year there's several storms that have been uh, threatening Greenland and Iceland hurricanes. So that's bad. That's true. And there's a hurricane headed for Portugal uh, literally today. And there's another hurricane, Hurricane Michael, who's now a tropical storm because it's still 65 mile an hour winds, only it's off Newfoundland. That's true. Newfoundland. So we're, we're doing it, friends. We are destroying the planet and it's happening now. And the three best candidates to really make the point, somebody's really tapping on this. Feel this thing. So these were the three best candidates of the well funded uh, populace That's true. and they all said no and there aren't better well-funded candidates so That's true. Uh, somebody's asking what the recommendation is from wiser minds above and the recommendation from wiser minds above is that we drop down a tier to the next best funded candidates they have to have some access to resources and significant resources and resources to act now are crucial and so drop down to the second tier and find some willing candidates and asking for a show of hands we see there are candidates that's true i do see that second tier candidates so they're not 
in the top 20 list maybe I don't know where the cutoff is but clearly below 60 billion because Mr. Zuckerberg had 60 billion that's true I don't know where the cutoff is we don't know we don't have access to that information but to drop down and find people who are willing to take on the assignment to spend their resources in the quest to reduce human population and to do it pretty much right now now means now and to stop the planetary destruction now now means now do you understand and can you see that there are volunteers and then what would be wise would begin would be to begin to reallocate more and more resources to those volunteers whoever they are that's true and assume that they aren't english speaking twi twist your thinking around we see how somebody's assuming that they'll be english speaking yeah that's true assume they aren't we at least assume that they aren't from the U.S. The U.S. is leading the parade of destruction. We're the super That's bad true. guys. Assume that these speak these volunteers speak uh, other languages. That's true. Well, assume that they're from some of the countries who are actually switching over to clean energy. Germany's leading in solar, which is crazy uh, if you've ever been in Germany. <laughs> They do That's not true. have a climate that you would think would be conducive to solar, but it, compared to Florida, where many days are sunny, That's true. but they are kicking Florida's butt all around the block when it comes to solar installations. That's true. Because they're not resisting what needs to be done. So maybe it's a German. Maybe. Friends, we really want to be sure that we're clear on this point that's all true. the top tier candidates failed that's true we only tested the top three because the others were revolting that's they were true. straight up revolting and they didn't they didn't meet the grade to even be offered the job that's true it's better to take a second tier candidate in terms of funding that's true who meets the qualifications of the job and so we don't know we we know that they would have they're asking again what does that mean what do you mean second tier funding uh, sorry we're not in the rooms when they're discussing where the cutoff is for That's funding uh, but uh, we would guess they need to have at least a couple billion uh, at least i would go for 20 billion surely there's somebody who has 20 billion who's willing to do the job that's true and can we try for that or steers 20 billion has access to oh, 20 that's billion that's true pope francis is a pauper <laughs> that's true but he steers the catholic church so it can be somebody who's a pauper but steers the wealth of a big enough collective try angela merkel that's true and i have no idea but she's a german and she steers a country that's doing good things and she's a woman, which means she doesn't have as much testosterone. And the big problems on this planet are caused by testosterone. And That's we can true. pretend that that isn't true, but that doesn't make the problem go away. No. It's just quiet and grumpy upstairs. Yes. What now to reestablish upward flow? What now to evacuate the even deeper, denser dimensions? What now? Because that was a yes, they copied. Yes. They understood. That's true. That's a yes. They understand. 